Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shemel Shai, by Shalom to the 144,000 rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video We Know More Than the Prophets of Old. In other words, we understand all of the prophecies. The prophets of old did not understand. As you know, they wrote these visions down but didn't understand him. Even when the angel, we, even when it was broken down to him, they didn't understand. We, so their job as prophets were to receive visions. Prophet simply means a uh, compound word, pro, meaning to go before or forward. Um, pro face is to speak, to say forward, to say something that's going to happen in the future. So that's what the ancient prophets and the great men of the Most High did, that the Most High was dealing with them. He gave them these prophecies that were to happen in their lifetime or to happen a hundred years from the time that they were on the earth. And they also received prophecies that were going to take place thousands of years in the future. You know, when you go back to uh, the prophet Daniel, he received those prophecies more than 2,000 years ago. He received the prophecies when he was in the Babylonian captivity, when the Israelites were in the Babylonian captivity. So the Most High showed him the vision of the, of the Medes, the, uh, well, actually, for example, when you go to Daniel chapter 8, what Daniel saw was Alexander the Greek, his four generals that came up with him as young men, the Medio Persian Empire, the, uh, well, it was a Medio, Medio um, Persian Mede Empire, then the Greeks, then Antiochus Epiphanes. That's in um, Daniel chapter 8. It has nothing to do with uh, the Antichrist. This is a prophecy that's getting ready to come. No, it already took place. So these prophecies of him seeing the Medio Persian Empire happen during his lifetime. When Alexander came on the scene, Daniel was no longer, he was in the spirit realm. When, when uh, Antiochus Epiphanes came on the scene, that was long after he died. But you can say that they were hundreds of years, let's say 500 plus during the time of the Maccabees was 168, 150 around that time. So he saw things in the near future, medial Persians, and to the far and the far future, which was Antiochus Epiphany. So anybody that says, like I say again, Daniel chapter eight has nothing you can't anybody that claim, go to Daniel chapter eight and said this is gonna happen, they don't understand the scriptures, they don't understand prophecy. And then Daniel also saw, he saw the Babylonian Empire, which he was a part of, the Medio Persian Empire, which he was a part of. Then you had the Greeks, the Romans, which he saw, Daniel 7. Then you had the rebirth of the, uh, now in Daniel 7, it does go into the rebirth. It talks about the beast that was different from all the rest. But it's, it's in that chapter, it's talking about the first beast and the revived beast because he saw the vision of the Most High. He saw the Messiah, Messiah with the angels come and destroy that same beast. And the scholars don't understand that. But Daniel became sick. They were overwhelmed by those visions. And their job was to only see visions and to write them down. Our job as prophets are to break these 
the visions down that these ancient prophets prophets had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go I'm going to go by the spirit plus um, I'm going to I got three lists in front of me with three different topics and I may pick a cherry pick a scripture here and a scripture there and then the spirit is going to lead me to other precepts. But um I wanted to start off with, uh, and this is on the list. So I said, well, let me see, which is, uh, wait a minute. Second Ezra 10, verse 38. So I said, so this is in the, the is it in the middle of the, the list? Bear me for a minute. Yes, yeah, Second Ezra 10. It's, a, it's a smack dab in the middle of the list. So I wasn't really f familiar with all that familiar with the scripture. I said, let me look at it. So then when I, I read it, you know, and on this list, the first precept is uh, Amos 3 and 7. So I knew that this, I didn't put a topic on this list here. But I, when I saw Amos 3 and 7, I knew this is a topic centered around the prophets of the Most High. And you're going to have guys that get mad. How are you going to say you over the prophets and you know more than the prophets. We do know more than the prophets. None of the prophets understood what they were seeing, even though it was given unto them. Even though an angel of the Lord said this means this and that means that, they still couldn't get it. We understand it because we can go back to history. Even these Christian Edomite scholars, they'll tell you, they'll go into the Persian and Mede Empire, the, uh, the Greeks, the Romans, they'll tell you that. Because that those prophecies took place. But when you go to Revelation, the prophetic parts of Revelation, because, you know, Revelation 1 kind of is an intro to seven churches, John seeing our Lord and what he looked like. A second uh, chapter was to the, uh, and that's a topic right there, second and ter third chapter of uh Revelation, the book of Revelation, because it goes into the seven churches and it goes into how they're out of order. Even though they're doing good things, they're out of order on this thing or they're out of order on that thing. And you got to get yourself back in order. Paul said, let there be done, everything be done decently and in order. And then you got the, you have the, uh, you know, you have the fourth chapter the fifth chapter this this the fifth chapter is is heavy it deals with the book and how the book had to be uh the seven seals had to be uh broken by the the lion of judah which is yahweh and about israel and then the sixth chapter goes into the horses uh, white, black, the the um, bay horse and the red horse. Then seven goes into the hundred and forty-four thousand. So when when John received the, saw these visions, he wrote them down, wrote them down, wrote them down, but really didn't understand them. And there was the angel that explained it. He still couldn't see it. Saw the woman, which is America. He didn't know that it was America. These Christian scholars, when you look up Babylon in Revelation, as a matter of fact, I may even test that theory. Let me do this. I Revelation. Let me see, Revelation. Let's try Revelation 18, one of my favorites. Revelation 18. And I want to go to the commentary.
Even the blue letter has a commentary section. Matter of fact, I should go to that, but I'm looking for the hub. Revelation 18 Bible Hub Okay, so let's see what they say about it. See, these scholars, these Edomites are not concerned or worried about America being destroyed because they don't know that they're mentioned in the scriptures. Uh, that's Babylon. At Cambridge, let's see what they say. Uh, it says... I'm sorry, let me come back up here. Revelation 18.1 And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory. You know, let me let me go to the second verse. And he cried with a loud, with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great has fallen and fallen and become the habitation of the devil. So let's see what that is. What, what they say about that. A my, uh, mighty, with a strong voice, with a mighty voice, Babylon has fallen. Okay, so it gives you Revelation 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon has fallen, has fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Her fornication is her filthiness. Passing laws, perfect example is, I can give you a lot of examples, but the uh, perfect example is they had they had passed laws to protect the alphabet people you know I got to speak in code and recently you had uh they criticized it was either Ghana was it Ghana or it was Nigeria I believe it was Ghana where you had, uh, what's her name, Kamala Harris go over there with a check offering, offering them millions of dollars. It was either Ga Ghanaian or, uh, let me do this. Let me do this, bear with me for a minute. African nations against homosexuality. Okay, it was Uganda. But I believe Ghana is the same thing. Hey, wait a minute. This is interesting. It says list of 67 anti-gay nations and 67 nations gay eagle criminal. Let me click on that. Wow. 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 Now look at this. Look at this. Any, anytime you see red, okay, all states in red have have nationwide sodomy laws and not known efforts to re remove them. This is America. They protect most. Canada, they protect most. The Central and South America, they protect alphabet people. But look at this. 
You can see the Red Sea, right? Look at this. These are all Arab nations. These are all Arab nations. They, they'll delete you if, if they find out you one of them. Russia, they're against it, but they're not as bad. They're not like America. But look at this. This is Africa. West Africa. And a lot of these countries, mainly in Africa and in the Arab world, they're, they're totally against alpha, the alphabet, alphabetization. Let's say it that way. You got Egypt up here. You got you got Kush or the Ethiopians down here. They got laws on the other side. You got all the Arab nations. You got Kuwait is around about here. You got Iraq, Iran, all these, the Fertile Crescent. This is Ur, Ur the Chaldees, Mesopotamia, the uh, Euphrates, the Tigris. So you see it right there, but you don't see it nowhere else. You don't see, you don't see not one red dot anywhere in the West, the uttermost part of the Earth. Oh, this is interesting. See, this topic is going into a different direction now. It says, now check this out. Let me read this. Let me bring this down. It's a map of the six countries uh, where sexual relations between people of the same sex are illegal. So these particular countries, which are African countries, the su southern part of Africa, they're saying that they're illegal. They might give you a fine. They might give you a slap on the wrist. But the red is like, we're going to kill you. We're going to lock you up for life, or we're going to kill, we're going to delete you. Okay, I don't see pink, okay? It says countries have uh, sodomy laws that are currently being challenged before a local, before local courts. Sri Lanka in pink currently has a bill before the parliament to repeal its sodomy laws. Okay, so this is Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, they have sodomy laws, lock you up, kill you, or whatever. But they're in the courts trying to get that repealed, amended, so you can pass laws to protect them. And where do you get where do you think they got that influence from? The great who of the scholar and, and scholar color currently has a, a bill before the it's a parliament to repeal or amend its repeal meaning to peel back. Take that law off the books. We gotta protect these people. Sodomy sodomy laws, Indonesia. In orange has laws that criminalize alphabet people only in some subnational jurisdictions. All states in red have nationwide sodomy laws and no known efforts to remove them. This is why uh, uh, Kamala Harris went over there. Kamala, Kamala Harris went over there uh, to try to get him to pass that law. And uh, it was Uganda that said, no, we ain't with that. You can take your checkbook and hightail it back to the States. So now let me read this. And this was as of updated April. This is new. This is new. Happy sex is no longer as widely criminalized as it used to be. Why? Revelation uh, 17 verse 4 fornication now Bishop, Bishop Nate said oh that's talking about the MOTB no it has nothing to do with the MOTB they're not going to accept these these laws they're not going to repeal those laws but they will accept the MOTB as it used to be but 
a total of 65 nations still have laws against Moism. So a lot of these people are, are Israelites. Well, we know that these Ishmaelites, they're against that. But a lot of these African, a lot of these people in Africa are Israelites. It says uh, the most recent countries to have repealed their anti-happy laws are Dominica, meaning now you can be happy in the Caribbean. Ma Mar Mauritius or Mauritius in the Indian Ocean, the Cook Islands in the South Pacific Pacific, that's Jaffet, Singapore and Southeast Asia, Antigua and Bermuda. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Antigua and B Antigua and Bermuda. That's Benjamin. It said the most recent countries to have repealed their anti-happy. Why do you think Antigua and Bermuda? Bar 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 it used to be Bermuda, but it's, they changed the name to Barbuda. Why they change them laws? Because Esau gave them, gave them aid. He said, "Look, if you, you know, pass laws to protect." happy people because all people should be protected um then we're going to give you a lot of aid saint kitts benjamin antigua benjamin barbuda benjamin saint kicks kitts benjamin and ne nevis nevis and barbuda Barbados in the Caribbean. So the, look, they most are gonna fuck you, Benjaminites up down there, man. Cause of what your government because they're getting they're getting millions of dollars. And it goes to the and it goes to the to the uh you know to the to the uh the government. The government is getting millions upon millions of dollars and they're living good. And they throw a little bit, they throw crumbs to the people. See, mo the majority of these nations here are relatively poor to middle class, working class people. Just do, do yourself a favor. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to do this. It's going in a different direction. All right? But, th but this proves that this, that who, who pushed this? Babylon the Great. Revelation 17 and 4. Let me go to Antigua and let me put in the government. See, this is getting spicy now. You Benjaminites and sold, sold out. You notice it didn't say Jamaica. Jamaica ain't having that. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me just go ahead and click on it. Beautiful island, Antigua. Let me look at the government. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, let me do... do uh, let me go to government. They're saying this in Guatemala, which is Jake. Let me let me go to government. Government. Okay, Prime Minister Gaston Brown. Let's see what he looks like. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's a that's a that's a look at this. Look at the guy's mustache. Oh, he's a he's an insider for sure. Look like Black Adolf Hitler.
So he's the man. He's the man. Oh, wait a minute now. This guy Gustin uh, of of show you that he was he was uh, groomed prime minister of Antigua and Barbuda since 2024 education the university of of Manchester. So he came out of England. And you know England works with the with the whore cuz she sits on that beast that called scarlet colored beast. So he's he's trained. He's he he was groomed. He's he's nothing but a puppet. Okay, so now let me come back over here to Okay, let me go. Well, he deals with Barbuda as well. Let's deal with St. Kitts. St. Kitts. This is what, uh, matter of fact, let me go to it. This is almost like a back to basics, but then again, it's really not. Okay, let me come over here. Let me go to Rev, Revelation 17 and 4. And the woman, which we know who the woman is, was arrayed in purple and in scarlet color. You had at the Super Bowl, the last Super Bowl, you had uh, Usher with his happy ass. You had Usher. You had Usher, and um, he, he was accompanied by, uh, what's her name? Uh, damn, I can't forget, I can't remember her name. Uh, she did the 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 mute the song with uh with this guy at the the restaurant Pam Pans. That was Pam Pans restaurant. There's a lot of history in that restaurant. Yike Wabi said, You feel like getting eating something, brother? Come on, we're gonna go to Pam Pans. Well that's where they filmed that um that uh song. Damn, I can't remember her name. But she but she was on the piano, and the piano looked like a dragon, and it was red with hints of purple in it. And I believe she was wearing red too. So she represented the uh the Super Bowl, the halftime Super Bowl is nothing but a uh you know a um a um demonic uh, ritual. So she was a part of it. And all these people in the entertainment business, sport business, whatever, they all sold out. All of them. Every last... What about Denzel? Denzel sold out. They all fucking sold out. Cat William. Cat William is sold out. If he, if he was real real about it, he'd be, he'd be off the scene. It says, And the, and the woman was arrayed in purple and a scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. That has nothing to do with, this has nothing to do with uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 16. See, it says the hand, it says the hand. See, this guy's got a spell over them zombies in the IUIC. This has nothing to do with that. Sin in, in all of its forms. It says abominations and filthiness of a fornication. So you look up the word abominations filthiness and fornication the MOTB has nothing to do with an abomination it's it's a sin it's not sin but it's a sin but it's not an abomin abom abominable sin hold up wait a minute give me a second here give me a second I believe the book of Clarence is on uh, Netflix because it just popped up. Give me a second here. Oh, 
for, uh, bear with me for a minute. I'll, you know what? I'm, I'll come back and get it. I'll come back and get it. So abominations and filthy, filthiness of a fornication has nothing to do with the MOP, MOTB. So Uganda are not, they're not going to repeal, repeal any laws concerning alphabet people, but they will accept the karagma. And we got to keep pushing that. Bishop Nate is going to be found wanting. You're going to be, he's going to be found uh, not telling the truth. I didn't know I was going to go into the, the, the Karagma. But anyway, okay, St. Kitts. Let me come back to St. Kitts. St. Kitts. Look at this dude. He got a wife. But you know what? You know, what, you know how he gets down. They get wives for a front. I mean, I can't prove that. Let me go to government. All right, government. St. Kitts government. Okay, so the guy, he got the suit on. That's a telltale sign. You got that suit on with the tie? Let me see something. Okay, give me a second. Let me try this. Come on now. Okay, so I don't know if it's his family or the government or what. I mean, he's he's he doing he, they doing good. They eating good. They feel they good. They good. Let me see something. I'm sorry. Office of the Prime Minister, Minister of Finance, uh, citizens. Oh, now they're pushing this. Uh, you know, energy use, per, that's that global warming stuff. GDP. I'm trying to find, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Why ain't they giving me the damn president? Politics of St. Kitts and Nevis, which is part of St. Kitts. Okay. St. Kitts and Nevis has a single national assembly, blah, 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 blah. They ain't give me his name, man. Eh? <clears throat> okay, ex main office holders. Oh, they oh, you can clearly see that they they so they insiders, man. They are insiders. Okay, the prime minister it said the king of St. Kitts and Neva. So you know that they sold out, man. You got Jamaicans talking about reparations in England. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you can see that they're, you know, they're, 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 uh, they're in it to win it. So let's see. They got the big smiles on their face because they do. They live in good Okay, who, who's this guy? Okay, Chief Minister 
bear me for a minute. I'm very sorry. And I bet you you schooled in England. Uh, Prime Minister, Mr. Prime Minister, head of government, uh, point uh, government general. Okay, salary. Bear, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so here he is. Let's click on him. Where, where was he educated? Dr. Dr. Drew is the son of Roscoe Pet Mills and Michael uh, McStrokes. Uh, he graduated from the Clarence Fitzroy Brown. Bryant College in 1966. At the age of 19, he was a part of part-time teacher high school. He went to Cuba to study medicine from the university, blah, 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 blah. So he studied abroad. All these pe people study abroad. <clears throat> And he's got a big smile on his face. He's lined up. He got the suit with the red tie. Definitely an insider. So they protect alphabet people. Okay, Dominica. Dominica. Mostly Benjamin. Some Carib. Okay, let me come back over here. Only he's he gonna tell you gonna tell me that this guy he this is a this is a show a, a trophy wife. He, you look, look, look at him. Look at him. Come on, y'all. Now it says Dominica, but they give me Dominican Republic. I don't want the Dominican Republic. I want Dominica. Dominica, which is different from the Dominican Republic. Okay, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skimmit. Oh, come on now. <laughs> come on now. No beard on their face. Always wearing the suits and the ties. I ain't got a suit and tie in my nowhere in the house I threw, threw them out years ago okay let me see what did he oh my goodness this is Dominica right Central American West Indian whatever mix over there Benjamin and some of the Latin tribes it says education University of Mississippi, New Mexico State University. He, this guy was groomed. They're groomed. They never, they never, they never educated in um, their lands. You know, higher education. So they groomed. They were give, they were given a, a script. And the reason why they have laws to protect those people. Is because the, the the hidden master told them no pass laws on this and pass laws on that. That's that's what that's what's meant by uh, Revelation seventeen and four, uh, the cup full of abominations and fornication. Meaning you're going to pass laws to protect these people. It has nothing to do with the karagma, but they're going to take the karagma too. And see the people of these countries. See you got 
Bishop Nathaniel going all around the world telling them that they're Israelites. But when the Karagma comes, they're going to take it because he's, tell, he's not telling them, you know, not to take it. He, he's not saying, oh, they're, they're going to they're gonna introduce to the whole world a karagma and don't take it because that's the MOTB. He's not teaching that. So a lot of these people that he's telling them that they're Israelites, they know that they're Israelites, but they don't know not to take the MOTB. As you, as you can see, I went in a different direction. I'm going to go to no more. All these motherfuckers had suits on, suits and ties, and some of them looking happy. But that ain't working with, in Africa. Most of Africa. All these oil oh, is red. They're like, nah, we ain't with it. My Arab nation, we ain't with it. We'll chop, we'll chop your fucking head off. Real talk. Let's go back to it. And the, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of a fornication, which has nothing to do with the Revelation uh, 13, 16. It has two completely different things. The African nations that I showed you, in, all in red, they're going to take the karagma. Let's deal with the word abomination real quick. A foul thing, a detestable thing of idols and things pertaining to idolatry. More so a foul thing, a detestable thing. Being happy is a detestable thing. To render foul, to cause to be abhorred. When it says abhorred, not an Edomite, it's talking about you can come close to them, you're not going to get a disease. He's not contaminated. The word uh, uh, Deuteronomy 23 and 7 has nothing to do with the word hate. See, you're not supposed to hate it because people don't go on the root words. Abominable, to run oneself away from on account of the stench metaphorically to abhor detest like when you see a mo if you're a, 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 a regular jake men and you see two moles walking down the street you're gonna you're gonna get away from me i don't even want to be around your 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 aura when we speak and sometimes you'll see two jake men holding hands and they'll see us up the street and they'll they'll stop holding hands because they know in their spirit they're, they're doing wrong. Esau just keep holding hands. They don't care. I see nothing wrong with it. You know, them Edomites. But Jake, no, that's why you have a thing called down low. Matter of fact, let's, for, the, for the ones of you out there that don't know what down low means, let's look up the word down low. Down low, meaning. No, you dumbass. this way down low meaning done secretly and not discussed so that only a small number of people know about it two colleagues were carrying on a relationship on the, on, on the down low but it's, they don't want to go into it. Let's keep it on the down low, okay? But that's dealing with, okay, if you have a wife at home, you work, and you have a, a, a um, relations with a woman 
on a job. It could be your boss or whatever. That's the down low. But then the down, the down low is talking about Jake men getting it in with other Jake men, but then they have the beards and they go to the gym. They, they talk rough. It says down low uh, sexual, sexual slang. The term is, is also used to refer to as divert to a re re related sexual identity down low has been viewed as a type of imp impression management that some of the uh, informants use to what does uh, down low uh, black men put in black men black men okay down low is an african-american slang term specifically used within the african-american community that typically refers to a sexual subculture of black men who usually identified as heterosexual they got the beards they got the muscles, they walk rough, they go to the gym, they play basketball, they watch the Super Bowl, but then they get with their boys, oh, we're gonna watch the Super Bowl. They don't watch the Super Bowl, they're getting it in with each other, man. And that's big here in America. I'm not talking about around the world, but here in America, you got a lot of jakes that, you, that you're gonna run into that are down low. And, you, and you'll say that, you know, this guy's a, a, a mo. Nah, he can't be a mo. He got a beard. He got muscles. He's always at the gym. He watches the Super Bowl. Yeah, but that's why it's called that's why it's called down low. And that's the abomination in Revelation seventeen and four. Because that's what they were. That's what the woman in red was pushing. To be mo's, and that's coming out of America and England, mainly America. It says as heterosexual, but actively seek sexual encounters and relations with other men practice gay cruising and frequently done done a specific hip hop and I'm not going to read the rest of this oh let me do this down low in the hip hop community down low is in African American slang uh, within the African see I ain't giving you hip hop they just say this give you the same definition Okay, let me do this. Down low hip hop and the architecture of black whatever. Hiding in hip hop on the down low in the entertainment industry. Down low sexual slang men who identified as heterosexual and you got a lot of these actors these you know masculine jake men that are actors that got muscles but they really they got a wife they got a wife and they got kids but they on the down low too so be careful when you deal with jake we had this one individual that was in not our camp, but a, a camp that was associated with us that we were cool with them down in Atlanta. That they had one brother, and I met the brother, and the brother didn't look, he didn't have no femininity to him, no regular dude with a beard. Come to find out that this dude was a straight, after camp, he would go, go on dates with men. He'd be in camp and get texts from men. Are we going to meet tonight? Where are we going to meet at? And then he had the nerve to come to me for counsel about what I do I said man what to do about it I said keep walking that's what that's what that's my counsel keep your ass walking 
See the head, the the um, the head of the camp kind of felt bad for him, and he said to pray. I said, no, 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 I just keep walking, bro. <laughs> just keep, just don't be, don't. I don't even want to hear it. Just keep on walking, man. You know. So don't be surprised if you got down low men in the Hebrew Israelite community. The spirit of this of this video have changed up a little bit, but this is necessary. So I told you what uh, abomination means, right? I'm sorry, let me go on. I'm kind of stretching it out. Filthiness. Let's look that up real quick. Impurity, filthiness. That means adultery, moism, the whole nine. And and it's coming out, you know, with these people in the, in the, the music industry that they're all mo's. They all intend those uh, uh, parties. Parties. So they got to do. They got to do something to be a part of the club. Oh, you had Floyd Mayweather got put out a, a, a video, leaked a video of uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis with a with a bikini with um thongs on, slapping his ass, and he's saying, "I ain't gay." That's no, no, no. anybody that does some shit like that and got use a, you play both sides. You a switch hitter. Okay, so pornea, illicit sexual adultery. It really means adultery, but spiritual fornication is to, fo like, people following, or nations, governments following, uh, following um, the West. America is known as the West, because it's the uttermost West. So give me a second. so if you don't know it if you didn't know it download meant now you know but this right here I'm going to remember to leave this in the description box if not if you put lists, list of 65 countries where homosexuality is illegal let me do this wow I didn't know this Okay, list of countries that criminalize alphabetism. Africa, look at all these. Cameroon, um, Algeria, Burundi, Caramo, uh, Car uh, Cam Cameroon, Jake, Egypt, Eritrea, which, um, I, Eritrea, which is uh, Kushites, Ethiopia, Ghana, Guinea, Kenya, Liberia, Lib Libya, Ma Ma Malawi, Morocco, Nam Na Namibia, Nigeria, Senegal, Jake, Nigeria, Man uh, Namibia, Jake, Morocco, you got a mixer, Jake, Syria line, si Syria, Syria, Leon, Senegal, Jake. Malcolm X was a Senegalese. His father was a straight Senegalese, but he was Ameri you know, Americanized. He spoke, you know, uh, Somalia, South Sudan, Sudan. Now, if you notice, is there's there was a Sudan, and you had a North Sudan and South Sudan. It was a split through America and England. And um, they passed laws where they can be happy. So the South Sudanese are not with that. Togo, Uganda, and we mentioned Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe, 
Asia, including the Middle East. These people will kill you. America's. Jamaica. Jamaica said, we ain't on the way with that body boy nonsense. St. Lucia. Goa. Na. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. They ain't with it. They ain't with it, man. And Benjamin, Jamaica, they'll kill, they'll chop you up. Okay, Europe. No country in Europe has a law against homosexuality. The last European location with such a law was uh, blah, 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 blah. Also in Europe, and, in, and uh, worth uh, mentioning, but not on the list of countries with laws against homosexuality are uh, Russia. Russia is not... Russia, the, the leadership are Edomites, so they allowed to come, but they, the regular citizens, the men, they'll, they'll beat you to death. And the reason why Russia accepts it because they're, they're part of the system. So anyway, Now, I wanted to get into these precepts here. This is uh, 2 Ezra 10, verse 38. You can really start a couple of verses up. I'm going to go right to the point. It says, um, He answered me then and said, Hear me, and I shall inform thee and tell thee whereof thou art afraid, for the highest will reveal many secret things unto thee. Really, you got to read this whole chapter. And this is concerning the uh, prophecies. Like the 34th verse, Then said I, Speak on my Lord in me, only forsake me not, lest I die frust frustrate of my hope. In other words, he wants to get the visions. He, he wants more visions. For I have seen that I knew not which are the visions and hear that I do not know or is my sense sense or senses deceived or my soul in a dream am I dreaming is this a vision sometimes you just have a dream and sometimes you know it's a vision when you have that dream that was definitely a vision 37 verse, now therefore I beseech thee that thou wilt show thy servant of this vision. And like I said, you can read this whole chapter. Now, we know what it says in Amos 3 and 7, the Most High will do nothing but he revealeth the secrets unto the servants, the prophets. So if you can't get this, like for example, let's deal with Bishop Nathaniel. Him teaching, ISUPK also teaches the same thing, that the MOTB is an embargo, is sleeping with white women, is, uh, uh, what else, uh, embargo, sleeping with white women. At one time, Bishop Nate said, it has nothing to do with people, he's talking about nations and countries. And uh, nations and companies so it's not has nothing to do with people the mark the MOTB has nothing to do with people then he changed it to people and he said oh that's sin in all of its form whether it be political or uh, spirit, uh, religious or political he just he just flipped he, he finessed he's finessed them zombies the scriptures say metal clear it's clear it said metal not a not metal not with him that is given the change at one time prior to uh, 2016, he was teaching that the new moon is a dark moon. October, November of 2016, he started teaching that the new moon is the full moon. And Bishop Kanai wasn't with it. They had went to a trip in Af uh, on a plane, and Bishop said, I don't see it, I don't see it. Kanai said, he see it. He said, look, and he said it in one of his videos. I don't remember which one. He said, look, when, when we came back on that plane, 
Bishop Kenai saw it because the spirit was telling Bishop Kenai, this, this, this don't sit right with me. And I believe Bishop Kenai don't believe in that, you know, MOT being uh, 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 sin in, in all of its forms. But if you don't stand up, you're not a man of the Lord. You do If you do not stand up, you are not a man of the Lord. And all you guys that fell off, you ain't doing this work, you ain't did this work in a year, two years, five years, 20 years, you are not men of the Lord. You crept in on the wares, and I can name names, and, that's, and that starts with the seven. Don't let me name no names. So Amos 3 verse 7 is an important chapter. Let me give you a couple more. I kind of had you there. So just bear with me. I'm gonna give you a couple more, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, Second Ezra, Second Ezra twelve thirty four two And we don't gotta give these deep dark secrets and these breakdowns and these deep understandings to everybody. This is only goes to people that are wise people such as you such as likened to your uh, likened to yourselves second Ezra 12 verse 34 to 36 for the rest of my people shall be he delivered with mercy uh, those that have been uh, pressed upon my borders the kingdom of Judah and he shall make them joyful until the coming of the day of the judgment whereof I have spoken unto thee from the beginning. This is the dream that thou sawest, and these are the interpretations, the understanding. Thou only hast been meet to know this secret of the highest. Therefore write all these things that thou hast seen in a book, and hide them, and teach them and teach them to the wise of thy people, whose hearts or minds thou knoweth may comprehend and keep these secrets. Why do you keep, Captain Zariak, why do you keep going on um, Sarnetta's show and, and going back and forth with him? You think these guys are going to come around? They ain't going to come around, man. But if our gospel be here, it is here to them at a loss. Give me a second. Okay, I just heard some noise. The super is out there, so I was asking him, asking him about it. Anyway, another one I'm gonna give you. Second Ezra's uh, fourteen, verse five. Fourteen, verse five. So when somebody says, "Oh, you got to teach me all this," and you got to, and you see that this guy is not, don't have the spirit to receive it, you don't got to give him a damn thing. You give them, if anything, you give them the basics. You got a Bishop Nate going on these different shows with these unbelievers. They ain't gonna wake up. And if anything, they get entertained by it. Give me a second here. 
Okay, 14, uh, second measure is 14 and 5. I'm going right to the point. And told him many wondrous things and showed him the secrets of the times and the end and commanded him saying, these words shalt thou declare and these shalt thou hide. So you don't got to give everybody everything. Now let me jump down to the 26th verse as I have it in my notes. By the way, you can read this whole <clears throat> this whole chapter 26 verse let me try to start from the uh, like I said read this whole chapter start from the 26th verse I'm sorry 25th and come hither and I, and I shall light a candle of understanding in thine heart so you can't open up this book and just start saying this means that. That's what a lot of guys do. They, if they don't understand certain things, they wing it. Which shall not be put out till the things be performed which thou shalt begin to write. You got to read this whole chapter, which I'm not going to do. And when thou hast done, some things shalt thou publish, give it to the public, and some things shalt thou show secretly to the wise tomorrow this hour shalt thou begin to write like I said you got to read this whole chapter let me let me let me do this okay so what verse is that Okay, 26. Okay, now I'm down here to, like I said, you got to read this whole chapter. Let me just go right to the 39th verse. Uh, 37 verse. 36 verse. Let no man dare, <clears throat> therefore come unto me now, nor seek after me these these 40 days so I took the five men as he commanded me and he, and we went into the field and remained there and the next and the next day behold a voice called me saying Ezra open thy mouth and drink that I give thee to drink and then opened I my mouth and behold he reached, he reached me a full cup, which was full, as it were, with water, but the color of it was like fire. And I took it and drank, and when I had drunk of it, my heart uttered understanding and wisdom grew in my breast from my spirit for my spirit, my spirit strengthened my memory and my mouth was open and shut no more. The highest gave understanding unto the five men and they wrote the wonderful visions of the night that were told which, and we don't have these books which they, there's books that we don't have that we're going to get in the kingdom, which they knew not. And they sat 40 days. The most I put a spirit on them where they sat for a month and 10 days and they wrote in the day and at night they ate bread. So they did, they were fasting. They were just writing, 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 writing. So at the end of the day, okay, eat something. As for me, I spake in the day and I held my tongue by night in 40 days they wrote 204 books now you gotta beware of a nigga that's gonna come up 
Let me say, hold up, Pop. Let me see if I can get this. But anyway, you can read this whole chapter as well. I'll give you a couple more. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 21. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 21. I'm going long, but bear with me. Let me just read 21 and I may jump in, jump up a verse or jump down the verse. And all such things as are either secret or manifest, them I know. That's a Song of Solomon. Let me see something. Let me try something. Bear with me for a minute. Okay, I'm at uh, the 21st verse. I'm going to start at the 8. Uh, let me see. Start at the 7, 6, 16 verse. For in his hand are both we and our words, all wisdom also, and knowledge of workmanship. 17 verse, for ye hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely, to know how the world was made and the operations of the elements. Well, he put it together with the angels. The beginning, ending, and midst of the times so Solomon saw visions as well the alteration of the, of the turning of the sun and the changing of seasons the circuits of years and the position of stars the nature of living creatures and the furies of wild beasts the violence of winds and the reasoning of men the diversity of plants that's herbs if you're a prophet you're supposed to know how to heal yourself and the virtues of roots. You get you get sick, you run into the run into the a lot of y'all motherfuckers took that jump shot too and wound up getting sick. For wisdom which is the work of all things taught me for in for in her feminine spirit is an understanding spirit, holy, one only, manifold. Manifold meaning many folds to it. Subtile. So if if you're basic, you can't get into this. You gotta grow in this thing. Lively, clear, under undefiled, right. Um not adulterated with anything. That, that undefiled meaning this truth's gotta be a hundred percent. You go off on one point, not one jot or one titter. Plain, plain, plain not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it ready to do good. And the and the thing that you're gonna do good is uh is 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 um this word, pushing this word. This is what we have. This is our job. Okay, let me see, let me give you one more. Ecclesiastes 48 and 25. Let's see what that says. Ecclesiasticus 48 and 25. 48. And 25. Oh, bear me for a minute. 
Let me get my bearing straight. Okay, I'll read the 25th, and I may jump up a couple of verses. He showed what he showed what should come to pass forever and secret things or ever they came. Let me jump up to the 23rd verse. 24th verse. He saw by an excellent spirit what should come to pass at the last. And he comforted them that mourned in Zion. You really got to read this whole chapter, which is short a short chapter, relatively short. It said, Then stood up Elias, which is Elijah the prophet, uh, as fire, and his word burned like a lamp. He brought a sore famine upon, upon them, and by his zeal he diminished their numbers, or number. By the word of the Lord, he shut up the heavens. And also three times brought down fire. Well, it was actually two times, because the, the third fifty and his captain of fifty and his fifty, he they didn't they didn't the angel said don't don't do nothing to him. He come coming nice, because the angel he was in the spirit. He gonna burn him up too. The angels held him back. It says, Oh Elias, or oh Elijah. This is why the this is why the Messiah said of men born of women is no greater than John. Because what super great acts did John do? He wasn't talking about what he did as John, he was talking about what he did as Elijah. Let me jump down to the tenth verse. Who has ordained, who was ordained for reproof in their times? to pacify the wrath of the Lord's judgment before it break forth into fury, which is the destruction. We got to be woken up before the destruction come and to turn the heart of the fathers unto the son and, and to restore the tribes of Jacob. So now you got these guys in the IUIC saying about Bishop Nate, we don't know if you're Peter or we don't know if you're Elijah. You're one of them guys. Well, he damn sure ain't Elijah and he damn sure ain't Peter. And he was supposed to tell him, no, I'm not Elijah, I'm not Peter. Because he didn't restore the tribes back to Jacob. That came with uh, Abba Bivens, which was Elijah. He was the one, the, out of the people, there was many people that followed him, but the three that were left was Masha, Arya, and Yaquab. Then you had four added to them. And some of them, some of them became disenchanted and bugged out. So it's not no, when Bishop Nate came on the scene in 1990, I believe it was, I already knew that it was Israelite. There was hundreds and thousands of Jake that already knew that they were Israelites, man. So what that, so how in the hell did you restore the sons to the father and the father to the sons? This is madness, man. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom. And you know what I'm going to do? Let me mention some of these precepts. 2nd Ezra 5, verse 9. Deuteronomy 20, 29, 29. That's a good one. That's definitely dealing with the prophets. Judges 13 and 8. Job 15 and 8. Job 29 and 4. Psalm 91. One of my favorites. Psalm 25, verse 14. Psalms 31, verse 20. And anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.